Happy haunting season, my YouTube friends. As you can see behind me, I got a fire going. This is our first fire of the season. Something's going on with the Mr. Buddy heater. I think the white filament parts uh, in the front are going bad, so we gotta go online to see if we can find some of those. But in the meantime, we gotta stay warm. It's gonna be about 20, 19-ish degrees outside, so pretty chilly out there. Thank God the wind's not blowing because that is unreal. I drove to Glendive the other day and boy, that was chilly. But anyways, we are uh, gonna be here tonight and then head over to a uh, yurt we're gonna check out. Uh, they're located at Cross Ranch State Park, but we uh, like to go there a couple times a year and uh, rent out their cabins or their yurts, but we're gonna be checking out a yurt. So come on with me guys and we'll go head there in a second. this episode we are staying at Cross Ranch in the ice glider yurt there's a look at it getting ready to cook up some beef barley stew but first we have to uh, brown the meat so we'll get that going on here the leaves have all fallen as you can see but it's a nice calm day probably about 54 degrees so we'll have a good day out here today All right, we got the BioLite stove roaring right there, getting ready to put the pan on there to brown some hamburger. To put in our soup, we're gonna throw in the crock pot. I'll add a couple more pieces on there and then get browning. Add the steak on there. That'll be going into the soup. All right, walking in the front door of the yurt. This is the ice glider yurt once again. I think out here at Cross Ranch they have uh, four cabins and five yurts. Maybe wrong, but I think they built a couple new ones. But just to pan around here, this is kind of our food area. They got a fridge installed in here and uh, right there's our crock pot. We're gonna be throwing in uh, that steak that you saw cooked up so we can uh, make some barley, beef barley stew. And then, panning around, I got two bunk beds right here. This is how you get the heat. There's a little electric stove in here. And <laughs> we brought this TV from the van because it's close to Halloween and uh, I figured we'd spoil ourselves by uh, pulling out all our Blu-rays, horror Blu-rays that I have. We don't really, uh, we don't really have a Blu-ray player except for the one that's in the van, so we don't watch a whole lot of Blu-rays, but we're going to be watching a horror movie block party tonight. Kristen's bringing in the steak that we just uh, seared on the sides. Here's the ceiling part. But one of these things would be really cool to live in. Alright guys, well we are back at the cabin, had a good time at the yurt, but uh, we are going to start stacking some wood right up in here. We're having a heck of a time keeping the tarp on. As you can see the wind is really high, probably about 50 miles an hour, and this is the third time we've had a go. I'll step into the wind here and uh, show you more detail, but this is the third time we had a go at keeping this tarp on. Let's go take a look. So 
So, I don't want to keep have the wind or have the wood keep getting wet from uh, the rain showers we've been getting. So we're gonna start bringing it in here and kind of use this as a makeshift wood shed to keep it out of the snow before we bring it in actually and to uh, dry it out and burn it. But let's get uh, stacking this up here. Burr. All right, well, here is our wood that we stacked up in here on the porch. Right in time, too. Got crazy ice and rain mixture coming down. It's probably gonna snow tonight, first snow. What is it, October 28th? 29th, October 29th. And we retarped it. We're gonna throw some logs on top of it. Exciting. Well, guys, I know this video has been pretty stretched out, a bunch of random clips in here pretty much. It's all been recorded in about the span of a week and a half. I've just been uh, really busy with work, working every day, and uh, just some other things getting ready for the cabin and such. So I haven't really done a lot of recordings, but I thought I'd put together a video for you guys anyway. Um, this evening we are expecting our first snowfall. It's November 2nd. Um, the roads to work this morning, in fact, we had to turn around in Richerton because uh, the roads were just so icy. We came around the corner and uh, about a mile east and uh, about a mile west of Richerton, I would, I would probably guess there's maybe be 10 vehicles in the ditch rolled over all kinds of things that people going to work this morning on cruise turn that corner and it's all slick but it apparently was uh, raining this morning from Richardton all the way to the Montana North Dakota border so we decided to turn around and we're gonna go check it out tomorrow see if we can uh, make it all the way over there but anyways I'm gonna end this video up with uh, this last video clip um, I'll try to get more videos out to you guys we're not gonna be painting the front of the cabin probably yet this year and uh, we'll periodically be working on uh, the plywood on the walls but we'll see how much snow we get going on this year if it's anything like last year we we'll, won't be doing much with the cabin until this spring but anyways guys thank you for watching I'll talk to you later bye <music>